Mike Sanristil out of Michigan is the number 47 player on my big board and my 10th ranked defensive back in this class. He was a three-star recruit coming out of high school and was actually recruited as a wide receiver who switched positions to cornerback after three years at Michigan prior to the 2022 season. He is 5'9 and a half and 182 pounds. He ran a 4'4'7 40-yard dash, which is 56th percentile. He has 29th percentile arm length, 88th percentile vertical leap, a 91st percentile broad jump, 84th percentile shuttle, and overall had an 8.41 relative athletic score. San Rastil was a first-team All-American operating largely out of the slot in college in 2023. He is a fluid mover who has good burst and closing speed. He has good vision and instincts in the passing game, and you can really see his wide receiver background in his understanding of what opposing wide receivers are trying to do and in his ball skills. He had six interceptions in 2023, two of which he returned for touchdowns. And so he's a ball hawk who is good with the ball in his hands, as you would expect from a former receiver. He triggers aggressively downhill against the run, and he's not afraid to get physical with blockers on the edge. He's also a plus special teamer. He had 279 career snaps on special teams, which is important for a guy that's probably going to be a slot, a day two pick, being able to also contribute in other facets of the game is huge. Now, he does struggle at times in the open field as a tackler. He's small with short arms, and he can get run over by bigger running backs. He can also be slow out of his breaks. It's like he doesn't trust his eyes at times. I think his vision is really good and his instincts are good, but at times he doesn't trust them. And I think a lot of that comes with him just being raw at cornerback still, only having played the position for two years. I have a second round grade on Mike Sandra still. I think he's a good slot defender, uh, and he projects well to the next level for a team that wants only a slot defender. I wouldn't put him at the boundary, but if you want him in the slot, I think he would be a great draft pick.